initially uh, I was limiting my paintings to the landscapes, flowers, and boats were too challenging for me. Eventually, uh, I've been, I was into getting something new. So that's last year when I decided to go and add boats and make it part of my scenery. Yeah, on the other wall you would see a lot of houses. It's the next step in my development as an artist. So getting my level higher, I try to challenge myself. So uh, every painting uh, has three, four layers. So I start a uh, very rough sketch uh, with the first layer, like 20, 30 minutes. It's uh, rather fast for the size, uh, like 20, 24, like you see on this wall. Uh, and uh, in a week when the uh, layer is dry, I come back uh, and start putting details. So it sometimes ends up with, as I said, two layers, sometimes three, and certain elements might end up with even <laughs> more layers. So that's uh, Paradise Island is one of my latest, and I feel it uh, brings a dreamy mood uh, to every view, and it's, I never know. <laughs> Oh, you're part of it or you're just uh, dreaming about being part of it and it's up to you to decide so, so we're moving to this wall with um, uh, three paintings of the bigger size where uh, I put uh, lots of houses and uh, uh, usually uh, my paintings are not associated with any city but uh, those uh, three having some uh, location behind them. So um, I will keep the I will let the uh, viewers to observe and uh, dream about that place without any particular location, but it's Eastern Europe. Just little hint and uh, just endless amount of houses, endless amount of mountains to just get lost, and, uh, but lost in the good way of. Uh, wandering around or enjoying and checking out uh, little things that that mysterious city can bring, mysterious corner can bring. Uh, took me quite a lot of time. I don't usually go to details. So I have not always enough patience to do things. So, but me uh, going to the courses, I have my uh, studio at home where I paint. And I also kind of uh, has been going to courses for so many years with different teachers to upgrade my knowledge. Um, teaching inspired me to take little time that will bring my paintings to the higher level. So that is, was a challenging task for me to come back and go into those details. I don't usually paint uh, people, don't usually paint um, cars. But if you careful looking, you might find a couple of cars there, actually. So this uh, second painting is uh, is from the city called Colmar in France. So that is the latest, latest, probably one or two months old. Still, I wouldn't say wet, but <laughs> it's a very fresh. Uh, so. Yeah, mysterious place, mysterious, uh, gorgeous, divine uh, corner of the world that uh, made me want to visit that city. And I've been asked, I've showed a few people around, uh, not as a exhibition, but just friends of mine, and they've been asking, what's the place? They're always asking what part of the country, let me see, and uh, probably they're already planning to visit that city. One day, my friends will end up in that city, and I will be very jealous because I want to visit that city myself. So you see, uh, the challenge for me as an artist was to uh, make sure your proportions are working nicely because of uh, horizon, because of the point is far away, and I need to reduce the size of the houses. Also, um, what I found challenging is to keep 
more vague the uh, uh, far away houses. Just give details to minimum to make sure that houses stay a little bit dim, to stay a little less uh, pronounced, less detailed. So that's for the far away houses. So I'm very happy with the results. I hope people will like it and uh, we'll make them dim and make them trap. And we finish with the one uh, that is the furthest left is uh, from Austria, also another European city of country. And um, what I've heard from people is that people see this road and that's the beginning of the trip, beginning of how the eye travels. So, and they visually, and me also, even though I've seen it so many times still, every time I watch, I start wandering, my eyes start wandering through the, this oh, little road that will bring me down, and then I start looking for details, you know, church, water, huge mountain behind it. So uh, it's one of those paintings that you, me and I uh, hope viewers would love to come back and relook again. So, so many details, so many little things that might be interesting to come back and have a look. So um, as I said, my paintings are all about traveling, about freedom to travel, freedom to live. And, uh, I would love to everyone to come to the gallery focus um, that's located at 68 East. Montreal East. <laughs> um, come and uh, check out paintings, enjoy the delicious food that uh, this restaurant also offers. And uh, for the whole month of uh, May, my paintings will be part of decor. And who knows, probably in a few months. Uh, I will come back with a new collection. So, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Yes, it's open every evening, except Mondays. <laughs> <laughs>